in 1924. Ten state leagues came together in Lawrence, Kansas to create a new national organization. They designed it to serve as a research clearinghouse for municipal leaders, provide advocacy in Washington, D.C., and create networking opportunities. As I reflect on uh, the issues and challenges we're facing uh, today comparatively to 100 years ago so that they can serve their residents, they were uh, providing support and information that was relevant for that time. And that hasn't changed, and I don't think it will ever change as it relates to the role of the National League of Cities. Being involved in NLC as an elected leader can be life-changing to you as an elected official. We run for these positions because we want to change the lives of those in our community, but this is an organization that feeds us as leaders. It doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter the size of your community, it doesn't matter your race, your sex, your gender, your uh, religious background, your party preference, because NLC embraces everyone who wants to do better for their communities. From fighting unfunded mandates, to creating insurance risk pools, to providing technical assistance, to helping local governments recover from the pandemic and become more equitable communities. NLC has been the voice of our nation's cities, towns, and villages for a century. Well, as local leaders, we always have to worry about that challenge that is over the next hill. But what we need NLC for is to help us find those long-term issues that are coming that we may not know about and to educate us and to get us up to the cutting edge and give us the knowledge to make a great difference, to make the right decisions for our constituents. I think NLC has had a number of significant achievements. Their advocacy for local government when it comes to uh, ARPA funding and infrastructure funding has been a game changer for those of us who uh, represent cities, towns, and villages. I have no doubt in a hundred years the National League of Cities will still be focused on the same mission. The issues may be different, the people that they're working with may be different. I, I imagine we'll be even more diverse than we are now, but the heart of this organization is still going to be the people who live in this country.